Testing, one, two, testing, one, two. All right, all working. Hi, guys, how's it going? And welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. If you're new here to the channel, very nice to meet you. And a huge welcome back, of course, to all our regular viewers and awesome subscribers, because it's thanks to you that I want to keep posting and uploading new content to this channel as well. So do remember to like and subscribe and enable your bell notification so YouTube tells you in your video feed when we upload new videos as well. Okay, so today we're here to talk about Microsoft Flight Simulator and the update, a patch apparently, that's been put to the actual app for people who apparently have had some experiences of jitter and drops of frames and all these kind of things to the VR you know, experience. So let's debate this because there's a couple of articles, two articles that I found. One says it works, one says it doesn't work. So please leave a comment below if you're a flight sim enthusiast or professional, whatever, you know, let us know in the comment below your personal experience. So let's just transition over to the screen here and go to the articles. So one article is by Upload uh, VR who say, Microsoft Flight Sims performance patch works but VR still struggles. So let's look at this. Um, they say Asobo's celebrated sim this week got an update with a ton of optimization on PC made possible thanks to the just released Xbox port of the game. When it was first announced, the team confirmed that the patch would also enable benefits for PC VR users. When we first tried Flight Sim in VR in late 2020, the game was very messy for us running an RTX 2060 Super and a Ryzen 9 3 3900X 12 core processor with default specs. Now, by the way, just to let you know that we have actually done a whole bunch of videos about, um, you know, Windows Flight Microsoft Simulator, which are here. Uh, one is called A to Z Graphics Guide to Microsoft Flight VR Flight Sim. The other one is called Microsoft Flight Sim Simulation 2020 VR Update. Uh, the other one is called Making the making of Microsoft Flight VR Simulator 2020, so the behind the scenes, the making of, that was a pretty cool video. And another one was by Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 from $1, which was on the Xbox Pass. Um, now, I just want to also clarify, uh, you know, my specs very quickly that I was using and still using a RTX 2070 on an Asus, uh, sorry, uh, yes, Asus motherboard, the Hero 11 and Intel, uh, i7 uh, 9700K. Personally speaking, you can go and check out those videos. I've had no stutter, so for 26, uh, 2060 to have stutter, I don't know. So again, let us know in the comment below what kind of specs you're using and also you know, whether you had issues and you still have issues after this specific, specific patch. So if we just go back to the article uh, very quickly, so running the game specs after this week's update resulted in a smoother experience, but still not perfect by any means. Jitter was no longer consistent and flying over the New York skyline, they were, um, was, they were, was, <laughs> uh, there was a lot of time spent enjoying the admittedly blurry scene hassle-free, but moving my head or turning the plane would still result in fairly regular hiccups. Momentarily, screen freezes and judger as well as some strange image warping issues. Now I will put a link in the description below. Uh, you can go and read up you know, the rest of this article. And what I think is very interesting is that there's another article published by Ars Technica um, who say Microsoft Flight Simulator's new PC boost. Yes, the VR mode is finally good. So which one is it? Is it not good or is it good? So this article, of course, is published on the 29th of July. Uh, the one by Upload was published also on the 29th of July, just to let you guys know. So they say anyone who has played a flight simulator knows that screen real estate is critical. Your average 16, well, basically HD TV or monitor is fine for most video games, but flight simulators are all about the spatial awareness of sitting in a cockpit. Um, okay, so let's just go down to the article. This week, my tune has changed. I now recommend that everyone with, with a performant gaming PC and a VR headset do whatever they can to test Microsoft Flight Simulator's VR mode. Now, just to let you know, when we went into oh, you will see these. the actual videos that I personally shot um, and uploaded to the video, you know, we did so much different testing of various different settings. 
uh, trying to get the best settings as possible. And believe me, I had no stutter um, when I was doing, when I found my optimum settings. And I have to admit that most of the settings, the cockpit, the landscape, the textures, you know, all these kind of things were actually very clear for, for when I did the testing using the 2017. Now, it is possible that with uh, a, a card or a PC that, that isn't uh, as powerful, even, you know, I wouldn't say my PC is super powerful, um, you know, it, it could, of course, the right, the right. could, of course, have, you know, issues in terms of stuttering. I mean, you know, it was pretty much like what you're seeing right now. Very clear, very smooth, very fast. Um, you know, just just really a really good experience. So let's just go back to the uh, article. Uh, this comes in the wake of a giant patch that was released alongside the new Xbox series uh, of the game. The patch targets the game's CPU-based performance and delivers far more stable frame rates, whether on a standard monitor or spread across a pair of VR headset lenses. It's a VR headset. No, VR headset lenses, but that's all right. I've, we we forgive him, right? Um, so he said that uh, now he's using, I think, a more powerful computer, which is the biggest difference comes from a direct comparison with an earlier VR testing scenario uh, as run on a rig with an i7-8700K, which is, um, I, I guess, less powerful uh, CPU, uh, NVIDIA RTX 380, which is a more powerful, of course, GPU, and 32 gigabytes of DD4, uh, DDR4 3000 RAM in December 2020. I noted I was unable to get the game up to 90 FPS refresh rate at the lowest VR settings, whilst the resolution was scaled down to 60% of the native count. Using the same rig this week, I can bump up the various graphic settings slightly higher, run the native resolution at 70%, and hit a frame rate that hovers much closer to 90 frames per second. So guys, you have it. You have two articles. Let us know in the comments below if you are using the Microsoft Flight Simulator or you haven't touched it for a while because you had issue, issue sorry. I encourage you to go and test it again if you still have the game or you can, um, you know, test out a free sample. And if you don't like it, then you get a refund. Or if you like it, you don't refund it, whatever. Whichever way you decide to test it, test it. And then let us know in the comments below your thoughts. I will also do some testing and let you know whether, you know, it has helped or it hasn't helped because I just saw this a few days ago and I haven't personally had time to test it on my end. So guys, let's give some shout outs to you because you are, as I mentioned before, the real heroes of this channel and I only think it's right to give back to you. So let's go and welcome first the uh, new subscribers to the channel. Let's just transition over and go back. So yeah, and if you do want to go and check out the other videos, you know, there is a complete flight simulation uh, how to, you know, install everything. I'll put a link to below, uh, you know, as to where you can find all these videos. I'm pretty sure they're still relevant to today, even though they were shot uh, five, six months ago. So let's go to the uh, YouTube studio. There we go. And then let's go to resubscribers, see all by date. So I'd like to welcome Summit Lover, Mike Thorman, Xavier Marino Gomez, Sean Linder, Norman Emergy, Christian C, Han Tai KLM, Marlo Labuna, Oluwasen, Akinen Malusen, and Christopher Talbot. Guys, thank you so much for joining the channel. Welcome to the community. You're part of almost 8,000 or 10,000 subscribers now. Do remember to share this video as well so we can expand the community and leave your comments, any questions you have about VR in the comments below so other people potentially can help you answer any queries you may have. Now, let's go to some of the comments of the previous videos of the Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, thanks Inzaga. Thank you to Ron M and Ho KK uh, for your questions. Also, let's go to another video, which was the A to Z graphics guide. I'd like to thank Acoustic Odyssey, Scrub Lord, Samuel Romero Files, Patrick Johnson, Jeffrey Reicher, ZR, Vishal Mangani, Evolutious, <laughs> you got me stumbled there. Uh, Picoya, Nimbotep, uh, Sib Halpin, uh, Mil Koji Kit, MBBB, Zisold Fazikas, Ron M again, and IRBN. Thank you guys for all your comments and your questions. I believe I've answered them before, so uh, do go and check all the answers there as well. So, guys, again, 
Uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. Remember to hit the like and subscribe and enable bell next to the subscribe button so YouTube tells you in your video feed when we upload a cool new video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video and talk to you in the comments. Bye for now. Where's the stop start button? Oh, there it is.